I'd like to show you today one of the candy buffets that has really inspired me here at Grand Volut Ballrooms. This was actually done by one of my clients and I thought that she did such a great job with it. I wanted to share some of it with you today. You're going to see, first of all, a lot of color coordination here. Uh, the bride's colors are navy and apple green. Her mother did a wonderful job of purchasing candies that go with this particular color theme. One of the other things that you're going to notice, one of the things that I really um, like the most, you'll notice that all of her containers are very, very well labeled. You're clearly able to see what is in each container, which is very, very important. Um, we do have to be aware nowadays of many allergies, including nut allergies, if you're um, providing chocolates that might have been exposed to nuts or have nuts in them. Another thing that I want to make you aware of when looking at this particular candy buffet is the containers that were used in it. I love very, very much how she has displayed her suckers here. You'll see the suckers in the front. Also the Tootsie Rolls in the back, again, very clearly labeled, very nicely done in their stands. I love this particular M&M bowl. It almost reminds me of a punch bowl on a pedestal. But what I most admire about it is the very, very wide mouth open top where you can easily access the candy within. I see so many candy buffets, but few of them that I see are actually as well done as this particular one. Um, some of the biggest problems that we run into is, first of all, not having enough candy to go around and to make uh, your buffet look opulent. Uh, that is one of the most common mistakes that I see, as well as itty bitty containers that have little tiny openings that make it very, very difficult for people to get the ladles or their hands uh, into the candy to actually scoop them out. Again, this was an inspiration for me. I thought it was very, very nicely done, and I hope for you as well. Um, one little tip and trick that she did here as we follow along the buffet is she purchased glass blocks that you can easily find in craft stores and actually had Love is Sweet printed on them with letters and filled them with marshmallows. Uh, very nice touch, nice accent. I hope that this inspires you as much as it inspired me.